Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to take up one important uh, topic from permutations and the topic is uh, to find the number of permutations when the objects are uh, not distinct, right? So here uh, let us take uh, the first example. Suppose we have the word uh, roof, right? And here we see that uh, this word roof is made up of uh, uh, three alphabets, R, O and F, right? And here, uh, if we call these uh, three alphabets uh, as objects, then uh, we see that uh, uh, the alphabet O, it appears uh, twice, right? And R and F appears only once. So now, if we wish to find uh, all the permutations of uh, this word uh, roof then uh, we see that uh, here we have to uh, uh, consider that this uh, alphabet O appears twice right so what we will do in such cases uh, where the objects are not distinct right so here we'll uh, make use of the result uh, that uh, uh, if we have uh, n objects, right? If we have n objects and um, say p1 objects are of uh, one kind, p2 objects are of other kind, and p3 objects are of other kind, and similarly uh, we have uh, uh, p4, p5, p6, and so on, then the number of uh, permutations number of uh, permutations uh, would be n factorial uh, divided by p1 factorial uh, p2 factorial p3 factorial and so on right so in such cases uh, we have to use this result right so here uh, let us come to our problem so here we have the word roof and we have to find the total number of permutations uh, when all the four letters of this word roof are permutated right so here the number of objects are n so here we have n is equal to uh, 4 right and p1 objects are of one kind p2 are of other kind and so on so here we can take uh, p1 as 1, p2 as 2, and p3 as 1, right? So here uh, the object O, is, uh, it appears twice, hence the value of p2 is 2, right? So the number of permutations, the number of permutations of uh, this word are given by uh, factorial 4 or 4 factorial divided by uh, p1 factorial p2 factorial and uh, p3 factorial so here we have 1 factorial then we have 2 factorial and then we have 1 factorial right so generally here we omit uh, 1 and we uh, do not write uh, the number of uh, or the number of objects which appears only once and we consider only uh, uh, those uh, uh, objects uh, which appears uh, more than once right so here we'll uh, have uh, 4 factorial over 2 factorial and uh, 4 factorial is uh, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and this is 2 times 1 so we have uh, 12 right and uh, it means that the number of uh, permutations of this word roof is 12. Now let us take the word addition and uh, we have to find the number of permutations of this uh, word and uh, here we see that uh, uh, this word uh, is uh, made up of the alphabets A D, 
then we have I, then we have T, then we have O and then we have N, right? So this word uh, comprises of uh, these six alphabets and uh, if we count the number of uh, times these alphabets appear in the word addition then we see that A appears one once and D appears twice and I also appears twice and uh, T, O and N appears only once, right? Now uh, the number of permutations of uh, this word uh, addition is given by uh, this uh, result and uh, the number of uh, permutations is equal to n factorial uh, divided by uh, p1 factorial and p2 factorial. So here uh, n is the uh, number of objects. So here the total number of uh, objects or the total number of alphabets are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, uh, 5 and 8. So here we have total number of uh, objects as 8. So here we have 8 factorial, right? And P1 and P2 are uh, the number of times the alphabet D and I appears in the word addition. So here we have P1 is 2 and P2 is also 2. And we so here there is one uh, important thing and that is uh, here the alphabets A, T, O and N. Uh, these uh, alphabets are distinct or uh, they do not appear more than once so we do not consider them and we consider only uh, the objects which appears uh, more than uh, once in the denominator right so here we'll consider only uh, d and i in the denominator because uh, p1 is 2 and p2 is 2 and uh, these two numbers are greater than 1, right? So the total number of permutations of this word addition is given by 8 factorial divided by 2 factorial and 2 factorial, right? So we'll uh, not write these, uh, these ones, that is because if we write uh, these uh, four ones in the denominator, then uh, the result is not going to change right so we'll write only those numbers in the denominator which appears uh, more than uh, once right or uh, these numbers corresponds to the objects uh, which are not uh, distinct right okay so we have 8 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial so if we simplify it then uh, we'll get this expression right and if we solve this expression then uh, this 2 and 2 get cancelled here we can cancel it by 4 and we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 3 times 2 so now the product of all these numbers is uh, 1 double zero eight zero right so the total number of uh, permutations of uh, this word uh, are uh, ten thousand eighty